Hi people, hi, how are you? Um, it's quite unfortunate that uh, we already have got coronavirus with us in our nation, Kenya. It's really been a long wait and uh, most of us has been in prayer asking God to secure us. But um, even if it has come, we, we, we don't blame God, nor do we say that God is not still protecting us, he's, he's still watching us and keeping us secure. And uh, even for the affected one, we want to wish us a, a quick recovery on the same. And I will pray that it shall not spread across this country. Otherwise, uh, in preparation for the same, I'm making this video tonight or today. Um, in the arise of uh, yesterday's uh, case, which was on the 13th, confirmation of the first corona case in Kenya. And uh, there has been a myth, and I um, believe across Africa or majorly across Kenya, that it doesn't affect black people, nor does it affect Africans in general. But the truth of the matter and the reality is the one that has in Kenya is a Kenyan. A lady who is just 27 years, as confirmed by the Ministry of Health, Kenya. So it's quite important we really get to understand that anyone is vulnerable, no one can be caught up with this virus, and therefore it's quite important that we keep up to the preventive measures as advised by the Ministry um, of, of, of Health. And uh, today, I, I want to just educate us on a little things. They are also uh, to understand the preventive measures and what we can really do to help ourselves keep up with the hygiene. Um, to begin with, it's quite important we get to understand what really does this disease mean or what does it entail. Um, coronavirus has been given a name, COVID-19 which is basically a respiratory disease that affects the respiratory system whereby someone can have difficulties in breathing at some point it can lead to kidney failure at other point it leads to death because for instance when we keep to the statistics that we have up to date we get to understand that a number of people have died through the same disease and uh, it's quite important also to understand that it is curable and someone can survive after even um, contracting this disease. It's curable and, and someone can get back to their normal health. So it is something that should not make any one of you feel um, fearful of their own lives. Uh, but also to, as much as you will not be fearful, it's quite important to prepare yourself for any eventuality. And therefore, it's quite important to follow the small medical procedures that you've been given by uh, different medical uh, practitioners. This will help us to keep up with uh, the spreading and again to help us mitigate this disease. Um, now, basically, there are ways in which this disease is spread, and mostly it is through coughing, where if someone who is already uh, COVID-19 positive coughs near you. Those droplets or pellets that uh, come from their mouth through coughing, if they fall on the surface and you get in contact with it, and um, if you in contact with it and you sh you either have an exposure of your mouth, your nose, or your eyes to the affected surface, then that disease is transferable. To, to you as a person. The other way is through a sneezing. Someone can also sneeze if they have some flu. If someone sneezes and the pellet spreads, then it will also be one of the means of transfusion. It is quite important to understand that this disease is not airborne. It is only transferable through or tra uh, it is only communicable through the spread of affected on pellets either through coughing or sneezing of the pellets that are already affected or already positive to now uh, how do we know or rather how do we get to understand that we might be having such a disease because uh, it doesn't make much difference on its beginning days 
from uh, someone who has a normal cough or a normal flu. So to, to, make, to, make, to know the difference as when, for instance, you realize or rather you, uh, you, 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 you feel like you might or suspect that you have such a disease, it's quite important that you keep up on the measuring of your temperatures, then also monitor your coughing as well as monitor the difficulties in breathing because it affects mostly the respiratory system leading to difficulties in breathing. Um, those are some of um, the symptoms that you have to look to when, uh, or rather to look for when you suspect that you have uh, COVID-19 and uh, also when it comes to the preventive measures it's quite important to keep up with the preventive measures unlike uh, or rather uh, despite the kind of uh, our livelihood, mostly the people living in Nairobi, most of these uh, preventive measures at some point can become difficult because as much as you keep away from public um, uh, gatherings, even our matatus that we are using nowadays, uh, like just uh, public gatherings anyway, if our matatu is carrying 60, 60 and above people, then that is basically a crowd, therefore it is an gathering of people. But uh, however, you don't have to keep in fear because uh, we still have a God. Uh, behold, we all know these issues, we all know the, the other promises that may come. We need also to keep up with the realization that we really have a God who cares for us. Now, to protect yourself and others, from the spreading of Verona, no Verona, sorry, from the spreading of coronavirus, wash your hands frequently with soap and water, or use alcohol-based sanitizer, such as this. Uh, you can find yourself a sanitizer that is uh, which has got some um, alcohol content in it, because uh, the alcohol content help in killing of germs. Therefore. If you cannot afford the sanitizers, just have water and soap and make sure that you clean your hands frequently. Whenever you have a motion outside or you've touched different things, you've greeted people, keep up yourself with the hygiene of cleaning up your hands with using water or sanitizers. Avoid close contact with persons who are flu-like symptoms, including a handshake, hugging and kissing. It's quite important that you prevent yourself from all this. Uh, therefore, do not have a close contact with people who have flu-like symptoms or even hug them or even have an handshake with them or kiss them. The other, uh, on the same, you have to keep at least a distance of not less than one meter. This is to avoid in case someone sneezes, then the pellets will not drop on your service or on your mouth or on your face. Cover your nose and nose with a tissue when coughing or sneeze or use your flexed elbow. Now, when, when for instance you, you, you have um, a sneeze, it's quite important. Uh, if you cannot afford to have a tissue or to always have carried a tissue with you, uh, kindly make sure that at least you have an handkerchief with you such that when you are sneezing it's quite important that you 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 block your nose or rather you cover like you have to cover it this way or you can just have it wind up so you just cover yourself this way or rather if um, you have a tissue you can use the same for the purpose of covering your mouth or your nose when you're either coughing or sneezing so uh, there are, you might find yourself in a situation where you don't have either a tissue or an handkerchief. Uh, thank God he is providing us with a flexible hand. So you can always cover yourself with your elbow such that when you sneeze, you cover yourself with your elbow this way. So that's how you cover yourself on that. The other preventive measure to keep others protected as well so that you don't have this disease spreading. If you realize or rather you have um, uh, some symptoms of 
these two cities is quite important to quarantine yourself and one of quarantining yourself is staying at home stay at home this will help us to calm the spreading of uh, corona virus um, away from that there are other preventive measures that the government has, has put in place when you have a suspicion case, or rather you suspect that you have uh, um, contracted this disease, it's quite important that you um, contact the medics or the providing uh, toll numbers by the government or number by the, rather by the ministry, or contact any doctor that is around you. And uh, this will help us to overcome our peace and will help us to protect ourselves as well as protect our beloved. Uh, that is all that we have for today. Otherwise, uh, keep safe as a Kenyan. Uh, maximize the spreading of this virus as much as possible. And above all things, I want to assure you that we have a God in heaven who is still watching over us as citizens and as a nation. God bless you so much. Keep safe, be safe, and be sure to keep others safe. God bless you and God be with you. These are just some of uh, the few steps that you may follow. Uh, just a few of them, a few of them, a few of them. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye.